Welcome friends to week number three of the Muskrat Link Sim Tour, where we battle against the best golfers in the world for cash, titles, and most importantly, points to secure our place on tour. Be sure you are subscribed to support this exclusive content. Let's head over to the first tee at Blue Jack National. Before we get to today's final round here at Blue Jack National, I just want to talk about a couple quick things here. So this whole time we haven't talked about the entry fees and cash prizes for these events. I'm going to go ahead and put that up on screen now on one of these sides, probably this side, I don't know. Um, and just kind of talk about that briefly. So each event that we play in has an entry fee. It's a small entry fee by me from my own money, essentially up against my wife. We essentially have a prize pool kind of laid out that we can pull from when we do cool things. So this entire season, I'm gonna be putting up, you know, 10 bucks, 15 bucks, 20 bucks every event. And then depending on where we place, that's how much money we get out of the event. If you'll notice on there, up at the very top, first, second, and third, get a prize from the course. So if we finish top three today, I'm gonna to be getting something cool from Blue Jack National. We'll find like a hat or a belt or a shirt or something cool online to buy as part of the prize pool. Uh, of course, if we finish first, we're gonna get a trophy as well, which would be awesome. So going off on that, after today, after we finish at Blue Jack, I'm gonna take a week off of the Sim Tour to put out some other content that I've been waiting on. It's gonna be super fun. Make sure you are subscribed to that, but let's get over there and see how I do on this last day. Now for the final tea time of the day, currently our tournament leader at seven under par, please welcome Tyler Gothier. Beautiful drive. Hopefully I didn't put too much gas on that to go through the fairway. We just might. Carrying almost 280. I was a little juiced up on that tee shot. That's a big one. 293. Light rough on the right side. We stayed dry. Let's start this tournament off right. 158 here into this green. A little bit downhill. Everything moving right to left. Uh, we changed pin positions as you guys know. That's kind of how we do it here. I'm thinking maybe 8 iron from the light rough here should be about the ticket. Let's put it pretty much right on the flag. Let it drift back to the right a little. Pulled it left, hopefully it's gonna drift back a smidge. Caught it a little chunky, so that kept us short of the bunker, that's probably a good thing. All right, nice little chip up to go. 11 yard chip here, just a little dainty one. Gotta land kind of into the ridge, which is a little scary, but uh, I think we're gonna pretty much go right at this. A little bump and run, run. There we go, stay right there, don't roll back. Give us the six feet, should be no problem. Five feet, good little chip there. We played that one nice and safe, out with a par. 546 yards here up next on the par five. We've got about 245, 250 to clear the bunker. So hopefully we can do that as long as we hit this drive straight. We'll put it right about here at the edge and give it a rip. <laughs> Caught that one pretty well, sailing through the air, up over the bunker, no issues there. 263 on the carry, just in the light rough, yeah. Not quite a fairway in regulation, but a great drive. 267 left in here. Not a lot of trouble though, so I might just rip at the three wood and see if we can get there. Yeah, I mean, we'll probably end up here if anything, which isn't bad at all. I'm gonna aim up the left though, because we tend to, uh, we tend to fade this one quite a bit. So I think right there should be just about good. Decent, pretty much doing just like we thought. What a little cinematic here, heading right, right down the middle. Bounding up towards the green, we might actually get there. Oh, beautiful. We'll take that. That worked out better than I thought it was going to. Nice shot. 17 yards left. We need to get this up and down for birdie. Pretty much just need to carry it just past all this ridge stuff that's going on on the right-hand side. Let it roll out down to the hole. That should be just about perfect. Looking good, got a little kick off the ridge. Give me that no putt birdie. We will take that. We've been in good positions on these chips, chipping them tight, haven't even had to take out the putter yet. Made good work of that last par five. Now we've got a 206 yard par three up here. I think last time we hit the nine wood and it was a little much and we ended up in the bunker. So I'm gonna take a four iron this time. I guess more or less go right at it because we'll take it off a little bit of a tee. Maybe just a hair out to the left. Caught that toey, so it's definitely gonna be short. Not a great strike at all, but 
It is on a good line, so it's bounding down towards the green. Should have a nice little chip up from here. 29 yard chip looking pretty flat the whole way. So we are basically just gonna go right at this. What are we doing down by the hole? Yeah, we got a little bit of movement once we get there, but it's not all bad. So I think we'll just chip this right at it. Be the right number. Release out for me a little bit. Keep rolling, keep rolling, keep rolling. Oh, that's gonna be outside of six feet, unfortunately. Now we have to make a putt, but hopefully it's a straight one. Little bit of movement here at the end, just a smidge left to right. Not much though, certainly not enough for us to give the hole away. So right there is gonna be good. Let's roll the rock. Hopefully that's enough. Get there, ball. Get there, get there, get there. Oh, it just creeps over the front lip. Well, the first time we had to take out the putter, it did deliver, but it was a little scary. All right, that's us through three. Let's see how we're doing. We made our birdie there on the first three, but Ryan Blom has started his charge. Our lead narrows to just one. 423 yard par four up here. Again, looking pretty good for driving. Got some space left or right, so we're just gonna aim it right about there and give it a rip. Push slice that one over to the right. Hopefully we get a friendly bounce out there. Not gonna be in any tree trouble though, so that's a-okay. We'll take that in the rough. 162 left, 14 feet uphill from the heavy rough. So it's probably playing about 170, then you add in the rough and it's probably closer to 180. Hmm, I'm thinking, I guess it's gonna be six iron, is it though? We're gonna go seven, seven iron from here. That's a real good looking seven iron. Give me a bounce up onto the green here, give it to me. Yes, perfect, just hold the edge. Beautiful, green in regulation for us. 16 footer left here, a little bit right to left. Not a lot though, it's uphill, so we gotta hit it 21 feet. I'm thinking maybe just outside the right edge should be good. Let's see, where does that leave us? Yeah, I like the look of that. That should be pretty good right there. Needs to settle, hit the back of the cup for me, baby. Yes, center cut, another really good read from us. We're starting to figure these greens out, you know. That's a good birdie. 590 yard par five up here, definitely a three shot hole. So we're gonna put this right in the center of the fairway and see if we can hit it. Beautiful baby draw there on that drive. That is perfect, right down the pipe. 265 carry, rolling out to my usual 285, I'm guessing. Boom, right on the money. All right, time for some gamesmanship here. We got 305 left in. Last time we ended up in these trees on the left. I don't want that to happen again. Pin looks like it's in the back right. So we do wanna be up the left side a little bit. So I think I'll aim right here, but not take enough club to get here. So how far is it to this tree? 218. I'm gonna take this time a six iron. Beautifully struck, heading up the left side, not messing with those trees at all since we didn't take enough club to get there. It's gonna leave us a little more in, but that will let our iron shine. 121 left in here. The pin is at the back, fading off to the right quite a bit. We definitely wanna to be to the left of this hole if we're gonna miss. So I think we're gonna aim right about there. Yeah, that's gonna look good. And I think we're just gonna take the 52 degree and swing at it. Hold it a little bit, trying to come back. Probably just gonna catch the back edge of the green and bounce over. That's okay though, it's chipped that close. Ooh, a flat chip here from 13 yards. This feels like we could chip it in. I love the look of this. We don't wanna go long though, cause that is death for us. So if anything, let's leave this a little short, but let's go pin seeking. Looking good, pulled it a little bit, but that's okay. Perfect speed. We will take that par, another long par five crossed off. 419 yard par four up here next. Looking pretty nice. I think we've got this bunker covered pretty easily. Yeah, 220 to the end of that bunker, we're good. So yeah, we'll just aim right down the pipe. Caught that one a little high in the club face. So we're probably only gonna get about 260 out of it, but it's all in the air, that's for sure. Bounding down there, a little bit downhill as well, gives us a nice roll out to 270. 149 left into this green, one foot uphill, so it's playing 150 with a nice ridge on the left side of the green here. I think it's pretty much just gonna be a stock nine iron here. Run it right up there and see if we can get one close to the pin. Caught that one thin, but we might get lucky riding this ridge, which was kind of our play. Yes, indeed, the ridge saves us. Well lined up, now we've got a putt for birdie. 
That was a good miss there. We knew where we wanted to miss it, and that's what happened. So we got a little bit of left to right in this one, maybe just at the left edge. 19 foot putt is what we're looking for here. I think we can drop this thing. Come on, give me a birdie. It's looking good. Is it the right speed? It's the perfect speed, just lipping in the left edge there. That's another birdie. We are gonna be maintaining our lead, hopefully, unless Ryan Blom went crazy again. 10 under for the tournament now. We get our lead back to two. Ryan Blom chasing us at eight under. 128 yard par three here. Last time the pin was in the very front. Oh my gosh, now it's an even worse pin placement. We are not going for that at all. We've been pulling our irons. We are just going for the bailout play, which is somewhere around here, probably with the pitching wedge, I'd say. That's looking pretty good. We're drawing it. We took plenty of club. We'll be hitting the back of this green. Nice and safe, nice and dry. We will take that on this hole. I feel like we've escaped on this hole twice, so maybe we can sink a long putt again. Oh my, what a putt we have here. It's looking to hit it 30 yards, but it's a 41 foot putt. Got that big downhill in the middle. I don't see a lot of break. I do see the water in the background, that's scary. A little left to right up front here. Then it just goes down the hill. Yeah, definitely left to right if anything. I think we'll put it right there. Try to hopefully keep it away from the water, maybe even a little further. That's good. On the way, but I definitely babied that putt. I was scared of the water. Hopefully it's the right speed. Yes, it is. We'll take that. No pressure par on this hole. That's a great result. I'm happy with that. That's a major bullet dodge for our round. 300 yard par four up here. The pin is very much in the front. I think we'll do like we did last time and just kind of rip a driver up this left side and see if we can't get it close. <laughs> Snap that one. Oh, just missed hitting that tree. That would have been disaster. Get through the bush. Okay, overall, not the worst result, but I tried to swing a little too hard there and really turn that one over. So, all right, we're fine, we're fine. From the pine straw, we've got 81 yards to the front of this green. Very scary going down the right. We do not want to be there at all. So let's aim this a fair bit to the left. Right about there seems safe. Yeah, about halfway between the pin and the bunker looks great to me. 81 yards though, we have to be careful not to overhit this. Looking good, right on line. That should be around the right distance as well. Perfect, up on the green with a birdie chance from the pine straw. We'll take that every day of the week. Beautiful distance control on the last shot. Now we've got a left to right snake for birdie. Can we make it count? It's looking for a nine foot putt here. Definitely some hard left to right right off the bat and then kind of eh, dying as it gets towards the hole. I think I'll go right about there. Come on, baby. Turn, turn, turn. Oh, just on the high side. That's still within six feet though, right? Yeah? Four feet, never a doubt. All right, that's a really good first nine. We've defended our lead well, but let's see where that leaves us on the overall leaderboard. Okay, don't worry about that then. Cut that out. 456 yard par four here up for hole number nine. Nice and wide open, good little landing zone for us. You know the drill, let's not snap hook this driver. Turned it over a little bit more than I was trying to, but that's gonna be up okay. Up the left side, just in the light rough. 280 though, we will take that. That leaves us 178 yards into this green. Oh yes, I remember this from last time. We hit the nine wood from the left trees to about seven feet, so don't think we're gonna do that again, but I'd like to. So 178, two feet uphill, playing 180 out of the light rough, add another few yards, that's 185. Mm, probably just seven iron gets us to the front. I don't wanna try to crush it too hard, so I think I'm just gonna hit a light six. Stock six iron, looking pretty good here. Just landing at the front of the green, bouncing in there, perfect distance control. It's gonna be another long putt for birdie, but we've knocked him down before. All right, we got some left to right movement in this guy. We overread the first one, so let's not overread this one. Barely any movement at the end. It's just right at the beginning here. So I'm thinking just left edge should be perfect for this putt. Yeah, I like that, 23 footer, let's go. I like the speed of this one. Do we have the direction? 
oh, just a hair short. If we hit it, we have it. But that's okay. That's a tap in par. That's a really good front nine. Let's see where that leaves us on the leaderboard. 10 under still here. We are doing fantastic on this round. Still up by two. Let's take it into the back nine. 430 yard par four here. Let's see where those bunkers are located. We got 212 to that one, two, about 260 to carry this last bunker here. So I think we'll give it a rip. We've been carrying it 260, but maybe we'll go right about there. That way, if we hit it straight, we can dodge the bunkers. A little bit of a heel slice there heading off to the right side. Not going to be a good drive at all for us, but we got some distance on it, and I don't think we're blocked out by trees, so that's going to be a tough approach into this green. Let's see if we can hit it. 168 left, 9 feet uphill, playing about 170 from the rough, make it about 175. Oof, I don't know if 7 iron is enough to get here. Oh, I don't know. I think I'm going to go 7 iron and see if we can drop it right down on there. Tried to swing out of my shoes there. I just should have gone with the six. We pulled that one hard to the left. At least it's not in a bunker though, but now we're gonna have to get up and down for par from a difficult situation. Heavy rough here off the left, 42 yards left into the screen. A little bit of left to right movement in it once we get up there, but we've got plenty of green to work with. We just need to get the pace of this correct. If I recall in last video, we had a 44 yard chip that we hit to about two feet. I would love to do that again. A little bit to the right, but do we have the distance? Spin for me, spin for me. Perfect, that is gonna be very close to six feet. What do we say in game? Can I have this one? Five feet, yes I can. No putt par, we will take that after a couple bad shots in a row. It only takes one good one to get your back on track. Hole number 11 is a 589 yard par five here. Again, drive's not gonna matter too much, but I'd love to start hitting fairway, so I'm not gonna swing too hard. Let's just square this one up and put it right down the middle. Yep, we caught that one pretty well. Just a bit of a baby fade heading up the right-hand side. Going to catch plenty of the fairway there. 275, money. All right, 311 left into this par five. Let's go up and take a look and see where we need to be. That pin is tucked in the back left, so we wanna be off to the right here for our approach shot. I love to have about 100 yards in, so that means we need to hit this about 200. I think I'm going to go for a maybe a six iron because even a little more is still going to be good. So, yeah, let's take the, uh, the six or the five and hit it right about here. Beautiful looking five iron there. Pulled it a little bit, but fading it back. We're going to catch plenty of fairway here. 211 yards pretty much. That's going to be almost exactly 100 yards in. Let's see. Boom, 103 yards in. Let's get that 56 in gear. Well, we've hit our number perfectly there. No excuses now. A little bit of a feeder ridge on the left-hand side again of this green. So gonna aim right there. I don't wanna pull it and miss left though. That would be disaster. So actually, you know what? Yeah, forget that ridge. We're gonna go right for the flag. That way there's some room if we pull it. Boom, dead aim. Fading a little bit, but hoping to get a bunch of spin on this one. Spin for me, baby, spin. Hold the green. Yeah, in the shadows on the back side of the green. We will take that. Now we've got 18 foot putt for birdie. Let's go. And what a nice birdie putt it is. I don't see much movement in this at all. We're on the flat part of the green. We're making good use of these approach shots. Let's see if we can get the speed right on this one. I think we got the right speed. Catch the cup. Yes, center cut into that one. That is a birdie. We're back on the birdie train on the back nine. Let's keep this rolling. And here is the signature hole here at Blue Jack National. Pin way over on the right side of the green this time. I think I'm just gonna go right at it, same plan as last time. Hit the five iron to make sure we get there and hopefully just end up on the right side. Definitely got enough to get there. Sailing over everything. Maybe that was way too much. Oh, we are in trouble now. This is gonna be an adventure. Did you guys pack your machetes? Cause I sure didn't. Well, this is gonna be where we make or break the round. This could turn into a disaster very quickly. Our goal here is to get out of here with a bogey. What's it doing? We're in the trees so bad, it's fogging us up. We need to get out of this hole with a bogey. If we hit this short, it's going to end up in the sand trap, which could be more of a disaster. It's really hard to say what it's gonna do going through these trees. It could get knocked down, it might not. There's like a little bit of a gap there I'm seeing where our circle kind of is now. Maybe we aim for that and just hope for the best. 
But if we go long and go into the water, we are in big, big trouble. So uh, 20 yards from the pine straw. Let's see if we can land this, I guess, just in front of the bunker. But boy, is there a lot of variables here. Get me out. Hit the trees in the bunker. Didn't quite roll through, but that is okay. We're still in this. We got to get this up and down though for bogey. I'm pretty happy with that last shot. We controlled our damage as well. So now we just got a little bump, almost a putt, just kind of chipping it up a smidge so it lands on the green. Then it's gonna release down to the right hard, but we gotta keep this thing close to the hole. So right about there probably is gonna be good and just hitting this about a foot and a half. Be good. Oh, that's perfect. What is that spin? I spun back up the hill. Game? Well, it is what it is. The game's the game, people. Now I have to putt this for bogey. Listen, the game giveth and the game taketh away. It is what it is. We just have to play with it. That would have been right down by the cup, but now we're sweating over a bogey putt. So I'm okay with that. We need to make sure this is the right aim though, because this is tricky. We got a lot of left to right, right off the bat. Then just a little bit as it heads down towards the hole. So I'm thinking just like a ball or two outside left is gonna be good. Let's roll it. For our bogey it looks good let me in oh just lift down on the high side ah oh, that stinks i thought that was going to move more than it did well that's a double we've done some damage to our scorecard now but we've got plenty of holes to make up for it on the back here let's do it a good hole to try to make up for it now 518 yard par 5 we are two under i think on par fives today so this is a chance to go three for four it's 270 to carry this bunker i think i'm just going to aim right in between somewhere there. And if we can get this in the fairway, we'll be in real good shape to get home in two. Let's give it a shot. That's looking good. We got a little bit of a baby fade on that. I'm hoping it stays out of that light rough though, so I don't get the 7% penalty. Stay in the fairway, stay in there. Just about, that is perfect. 280 yard drive, 237 left in. This is gonna be the first time we have a chance to go for a par five here on the Muskrat Link Sim Tour. Let's make it count. Well, with 237 left to go. Oh, but look at this green. Oh, this is the brutal green and the pins all the way up on the left. Oh, I do not want to be putting from down in here. That's going to be horrible. I don't want to be chipping from anywhere. I don't want anything to do with this green. I don't want to play it anymore. All right, new plan. We can't go for this. There's no point. We basically need to have a full wedge in uh, or a little chip from the front. Chip from the front might not be bad. So what is it to the very front of the screen in front of the bunker? 209. Maybe if we just hit five iron up to the middle here, like about where this arrow is, and then we'd have to chip it up over the bunker. So I think we'll aim for a little circle right in the middle here with a five iron and see if that'll play for us. A little heavy with the five iron, going a little further right than I would have wanted. Give me a kick left. All right, that's not bad, but we do need to carry this up onto that top ledge now if we want to have a putt at this. So this is tricky, but we can execute. Here is the shot we are left with. Yeah, we've got a little bit more green to work with than I thought here, so this will be good. 41 yards, you know we're good from this distance. We need to make sure we carry it at least whatever this is to the front, probably about 25 at least on the carry, but I think that's fine for a 41 yard shot. Let's go ahead and stick this close. Be good, spin for me, spin for me. I've got a little too much on that, check up. Oh, that's a good one. We will take it. It's not exactly six feet, right? Yeah, seven feet, that's what I thought. So we're putting this, but this is a real good chance at bird. Oh yeah, you love to see a flat looking birdie putt that only takes nine feet. Let's just go up there and roll this one in. Get online, no problem. All right, that is a birdie. We played the par fives three under on Blue Jack this trip. So that is a great day so far. What do we got left here? Five more holes to play. Let's check in and see where we're at on the leaderboard. With that double on the scorecards, our lead shrinks to only one. Ryan is hot on our heels. Five left to play. Let's make it happen. 365 yard par four up here. I remember this from last time we laid back to here to take the water out of play. And honestly, the way I'm driving today, I probably wanna do that again. I don't wanna mess with that water at all. Let's take the nine wood back to about here. Uh, bunker would be in play with the nine wood. I'm still gonna hit it though, cause I feel pretty confident in my ability. So let's go right here with the nine wood. 
little baby draw there with the nine wood, no problem whatsoever, keeping it in the fairway, 200 and about 20 yards here. That'll give us a good number in. Let's keep this going. 146 yards into this green. Ooh, that pin is tucked in there on the left-hand side. Seven feet downhill as well, so it's playing about 140. I probably could try to muscle a pitching wedge there, but I don't think that's a smart play. Let's just hit our nine. Little baby fade in there, and it should be perfect. Looking good, fading back. Is that gonna be the right number? I think it is. Yeah, that nine was the perfect club for the play. That's gonna give us a birdie look we can definitely make, and boy, do we need it coming down this home stretch. Little bit of movement in this putt towards the end, so it's probably just gonna be right inside the right edge, I say. Yeah, that's probably looking pretty good there. All right, let's bury this thing. Got enough speed, is it gonna hit the hole? Yes it is, that is a birdie. If we can keep a hold of this tournament going into these last few holes, oh, it's gonna be big for us overall. Par three up next here, 175 yards. Uphill a little bit, pin is kinda nestled in the back a smidge, that's a, a little worrisome, but not too much. Uh, last time we hit a six iron and kinda duffed it short, so I think it's time for the six irons uh, revenge here. Let's see if we can get one on the dance floor. Six iron looking for redemption. I think we caught plenty of that one. Yeah, that's gonna go sailing over the back. Almost 180 carry on that six iron. That's pretty big, even for me. Well, all right, we've got a little chip here. Let's see if we can get this up and down for par. Up and down for par, I think we can just about make this. I like these chips that have a, a decent amount of movement in them. It is downhill though, so that is scary. If we go long on this, we're going very long. So let's get our speed right here. Just aim a little bit up the left-hand side so it's got room to break back. See if we can carry this about, probably about a third of the way there is what we want to carry. A little bit more bump and run than anything. Roll out, roll out down that hill for me. All right, that will work. We were a little short, but we had to be careful with that chip. We made it out of here with our par. Let's keep it going. Got a really good round going here, four under. Now we've got a 461 yard par four up next here. What are we looking at to carry this little pot bunker? 250 or so to carry it? That should be fine. We'll just aim straight again and try to hit it straight. What a concept. Well, we block push that one out to the right. I don't think we're gonna make it to the trees though, so that's gonna be okay. Definitely our worst drive of the day though, but bouncing out of the heavy rough into the light rough, we will take that as a good break. 218 yards into this par four though. With that much distance left, six feet downhill, also from the light rough, it's probably playing about 225. The nine wood will probably bounce down there though, so I kinda like giving the nine wood a chance to see what it can do. We'll just aim at the left side of this green in case we fade it a little bit, but Let's give the nine wood a chance at the glory again. It's done well so far. He's trying. Fade back a little bit for me, nine wood. Get a kick to the right. Oh, it's looking pretty good. Just about pin high. We will take that from 220 yards away in the rough. Yeah, that's a good shot. Let's see if we can chip this tight or maybe chip it in. Feels like we're due for a chip in. We seem to have one every round, but not one here yet. A little left to right at the end. Ah, little four yard chip, just left edge. I think it's gonna run out towards the hole. It is uphill as well, so let's give this one a run. I think we can drain it. Come on, baby! Yes! That is a big one. You knew it was coming. Play that music, hit that subscribe button for us, guys. We are doing super cool stuff here on the Muskrat Links channel. More chip-ins like that are sure to be in your future. We did well to gain some strokes back on our lead there. Up by three with a couple holes to play. Let's go. 308 yard par four here. Last time we laid back. This time I'm gonna go for it though. So let's club up and see where the driver would take us. Probably just right up this front edge. Pin is in the back. We don't need to hit this hard. We just need to hit it straight. Let's get this driver back in the fairway today. High and off the toe there, but it's gonna probably plug right in the middle of this bunker. Boof, fried egg, would hate to have that in real life, but we should be able to manage it in the game here. 64 yards, now let's make it happen. Don't have much lip to contend with here, so we should be good here. Sand wedge flop shot, I don't know what it thinks we're trying to do. Let's go punch, that's a bit much. 
pitch, that looks better. All right, we need to get this up onto the green. Hopefully we'll have a little bit of spin here coming out of the sand. 64 yards, ooh, this is gonna be like, uh, we need like a 70 yard shot here, I think. And I think we'll just take dead aim as well. All right, this is a shot we have to make happen, let's go. Up and out, do we have the right number? Probably did have the right number. We pulled it just a little bit, but just catching the back edge of the green, maybe a little bit off of it. What does it say we have? Heavy rough allegedly, but all right, chance for another chip and let's go two for two. Oh yes, we can chip this in. We just need to get our alignment correct here. We are going right at it. If we can hit another straight chip, we got another chip in. Come on. Two in a row, baby. All day, all night. The chipping machine is here. We are taking this tournament down. Keeping our three shot lead here, but people are coming on hot. We could still blow this. Let's focus up and make a par on this last hole. 465 yard par four here. Last time we split the bunkers, but I don't know if we're driving well enough to do that today, but what the heck, we're still gonna go for it because why not? Last hole of the tournament with a three shot lead, what could go wrong? Thanks for the support, Katie. <laughs> well, I think we sprayed that one just far enough right to miss the bunker, so not the best drive, but a drive that works out for us. Probably just gonna creep into the light rough here. Or is that a fairway? I can't tell, it's too dark in here. Light rough with 200 yards into this last par four, let's go. Well, we have been making bogeys on all of our last holes on pretty much every tournament we play in, so let's try to make today the exception to that. 200 yards, six feet uphill. From the light rough, I think four iron's probably gonna be the right club. It might end up a little short, but I'm a-okay with that. That is a well-struck four iron from the light rough. Might even creep up on the dance floor. Yes, it will for a brief moment, and then go off the back. Well, I guess we got another chance at a chip in here. Can we go three in a row on chip -ins birdies? That would be insane. Quite a bit of break in this one, though. This is gonna to be tough to chip in, that's for sure. But it's not out of the question. We're going a bit left. I'd rather have this one have dying speed down towards the hole, so we're gonna go a little bit further left than we normally would. Yeah, right about there. If we chip this inside of six feet, though, I will be happy. Ooh, it's looking pretty good. Just didn't have the gas to get there. It was on a good line, though. Wow, I am very happy with that round overall. Seven under on day one, six under on day two. It's the best golf we've played so far and I think it's gonna win us the tournament. Let's get that scorecard signed, head over to the media tent and see how we did. Congratulations, you're officially a Cornfield Tour winner here on Blue Jack National. How do you feel? I feel great. Uh, we played well today, but boy, I tell you what, it feels good to win. Getting that first win on your belt tells you that, yeah, you've got the right stuff. Not only do you deserve to be here, but you can be vying for a spot on the Pro Tour as well. So yeah, it feels good. It takes a lot of pressure off me going into the next several events. We've got some big ones coming up too, but today I'm going to enjoy my winnings. Now, did you think you would need to play this well to win? Uh, no, not at all, actually. I figured I could kind of, not necessarily cruise, but, you know, take it easy, shoot my nice three under, two under, and, you know, take the victory as it comes. But, yeah, the guys piled on the pressure today. I had to play some really good golf. Uh, I didn't quite have all my best stuff today either. The driver wasn't what it was on day one. I was definitely losing some strokes there. Uh, around the green and putting definitely picked up, though. I mean, that's my strong suit. So I'm glad I got to play, you know, the game I know. And I needed it today, too. There was a lot of pressure. What will you bring with you moving forward to the next event at TPC Sawgrass? Yeah, into the next event, uh, I definitely bring a lot of confidence. I now know that I can kind of hang with these guys. I have the ability to go low. I kind of faced those very difficult moments where you're you know, a ways under par, you're the leader, and you still have to perform. 
I felt like I stayed pretty calm. I was just taking it shot by shot. That's how I always play my game. That's kind of the secret to success in golf is having that short-term memory loss, whether it's a double bogey or an eagle, you gotta forget about it because the next shot is the only one that matters. So I'm looking forward to TPC Sawgrass. We'll take a week off here of content to make a few other things here on the channel, but I will see you guys at the next event. Let's go. Checking in with the Pro Tour final results and standings, we can't help but feel like it all came together for Kyler this week at Blue Jack. Flying high and in third place overall on the Cornfield Tour, we turn our eyes to TPC Sawgrass. Be sure you are subscribed for this amazing journey, and we will see you at the next event.